What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a simple enemy spawner. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so I previously made a video on teaching you how to create a random enemy spawner, where we spawn an enemy AI on a random location in the map. In this case, to switch it up, it's gonna be on a specific location that we want, and only spawned when triggered. So, to do this, let's go inside of the content browser, right click, and create a new blueprint class. In this case, let's select actor, as we're creating an object that will be placed in the world. Let's name this something as BP underscore enemy spawner and open this up. So the first thing that we want to do in this enemy spawner blueprint is add a new component. This new component will be a billboard. Now a billboard is essentially an invisible 3D icon that will be visible in our editor. That way because our enemy spawner will be invisible, we can see it when we place it in our world. This helps us just go ahead and position the spawners exactly where we need them. So let's go back over here and open the event graph. And now it is time to create the code for this spawner. So let's right click and create a new custom event and let's call this spawn enemy, which is exactly what this will do. So from here, let's go ahead and call the spawn actor from class node. Now in here, we need to specify the specific enemy blueprint that we want to spawn. In this case, we are going to go ahead and create in simple enemy AI in a second, but if you already have an enemy AI that you want to spawn, you will go ahead and select it over here. Now for the spawn transform, we're going to simply just right click and say get actor transform and plug this here. Okay. Just make sure that this transform, okay, will have this skill set to always one. But just in case, let's go back, hold alt and click to split this node and then right click and split it. Okay. That way we can right click and split and connect the location rotation and do not connect the skill. So make sure that the scale will always stay at one. Now for the collision handling override, let's set this to try to adjust location, but always spawn. Okay, so just in case we have something in the middle, we will always spawn this enemy AI, but we will try to move it around just a bit. Now let's go ahead and just create a simple enemy AI that we can spawn. Now I'm gonna just mention that this is of course not an enemy AI tutorial, this is an enemy AI spawner tutorial. So if you wanna learn how to create Enemy AIs, I have you covered, so I'll link some links in the description, okay? So, let's right click and create a new blueprint class. It's gonna be in the character, BP underscore AI. Mesh is gonna be a simple many, so many simple. Gonna go ahead and relocate this character in position, as you can see now it is centered. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the event graph and simply when the game starts on the begin play, I gotta do an AI move to that way the AI will go to where the player is. So the pawn will be self and target actor will be get player character. And the acceptance radius it will be 120. So he will get closer to me. And that's pretty much it for now. Okay. Perfect. Everything works. We use the plugins here, BP AI, and well, that's it. Now I repeat. I went flying through this section because this is not an enemy AI to start, okay? So with that said, if I press play, we can see that nothing happens. This is because we're never calling this new custom event that we created. So on the begin play, we can simply call spawn enemy AI, or just spawn enemy, and boom, we have it over here. Let me go ahead and just rotate 180 degrees, so it's facing me, and there we go. Everything's working fine. Now, things left to do is to, of course, make sure that the enemy AI chases me. Now you will see that he didn't chase me. Why? Well, this is because we need a special component in our level to allow AIs to move around. So I need to go up here into the quickly add to the project section, go to the volumes and drag in nav mesh balance volume. And now I'm going to go ahead and just put this to 20 of scale. If I press P, you can see this green paths that the AI can go. Now if I press play, you see one thing. He doesn't move again. Why? This is a very important thing that you need to make sure and consider with spawners. Okay. 
by default, if we go to our enemy AI, so not in our spawner, but an enemy AI, we open up details um, and then class defaults and then um, AI, you will see one interesting thing, which is that in our auto possess AI, we only have it for placed in the world, not for placed in world or spawned. This is a very important change that we need to do. So our AI will actually be able to move around when it's spawned and not manually placed on the level. Okay. Have that in mind for any spawner that you do in any point in Unreal. All right. So with that done, it is time to go into the um, BP AI and do a little thing. Okay. I want to go ahead and make sure to um, simply kill this enemy AI when it reaches this destination. So I'm going to get a mesh and do a um, simulate physics. So he will like ragdoll. And now make sure to go to mesh, scroll down. So this to custom and this set to collision enabled. Okay. So the character can ragdoll. As you can see, he comes and he dies. Why are we doing this? Well, this is because on each death. Okay. So when an enemy dies, the next enemy AI will spawn. Okay. So instead of making a figured timer, this is going to be a better approach because we manually control when we want the next AI to be called. Okay. So going back to the AI, I'm going to just disable the camera trace block. And then we're going to go back to the um, enemy spawner. And we need to do a little thing over here in order to allow, you know, more enemy AIs to spawn. What is it? Well, to, to simply like, you know, sync the, so more than sync, just connect the AI with our spawner. So to do this, go to the BP AI, create a new variable and let's call this spawner. Okay, so we're gonna create a reference to the spawner that spawned this AI. Now, of course, the blueprint will be BP spawner. If I can type, my goodness, there we go. Okay, object reference, and then we're gonna go ahead and just get this right after we simulate physics and call the spawn enemy. All right, there we go. Yes, here will be good. So now back over here, what we can simply do is set, okay, the reference of spawner to be self right when we spawn this AI. That way, as you can see, when the AI dies, the next one spawns, okay? And like that until the end of times. <laughs> now, as you can see, it's working pretty cool. Now to finish it up, let's add some particles and effects. So if you have imported the sorry content, you can find here a particles folder and we'll use in this explosion. Okay. If you don't have this, you can just go to add feature or content pack content and then add to bread. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up this over here and on the spawn enemy right after this, we can do spawn emitter add location. Okay. Now this emitter will be this explosion or whatever you want and the location will be will get out to a location. Okay. The rotation doesn't matter and the scale doesn't matter. We're going to make it a bit smaller to like 0.8 and then outer release. And if we hit play, as you can see, we have a mini explosion, which is pretty cool. Of course, you can customize it to make it look a bit better. And then it's also a mini sound. So we can do play sound at location. The same will go to the location here and then we we'll put like camera shutter point three five and there we go and you can put this sound in 3d right now it's not in 3d but i do have another done that you can check it out and that's it we have everything so that's it guys i found this video helpful i would really appreciate it look at that video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so check them out if you're serious about learning unreal engine 5 join my unreal club and now yes with us said bye bye